Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you the basics of the DS1307 real-time clock. This tutorial will be broken into three parts, wiring, programming, and troubleshooting. Thank you in advance for watching the video and I hope you enjoy it. Before we begin the first part, I would like to quickly discuss what a real-time clock is. So a real-time clock is a device that is used to accurately keep track of time even when power is down, hence it has that small coin cell battery. Inside it uses something called the crystal oscillator that oscillates at a specific frequency and accurately keeps track of time. A real-time clock is often used in microcontroller-based projects. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the DS1307 real-time clock with the Arduino Uno. For this tutorial you will need a DS1307 real time clock, an LIR2032 rechargeable battery, an Arduino Uno or a different microcontroller. This tutorial however will focus on the Arduino Uno. Male to male jumper cables and finally a solderless breadboard. I'm assuming that you already have soldered header pins onto your DS1307. We will start out with the RTC inserted into the breadboard and the battery already inserted. I'll turn it around so that you can see the labeled pins. There are only four connections that we have to make. Take a male to male jumper cable and connect VCC to five volts on the Arduino. Then do the same thing for ground. Ground and connect that to ground on the Arduino. Okay, now take another wire, take the SDA pin and connect it to A4 on the Arduino, it's the analog pin right here. And finally take SCL and connect it to A5 on the Arduino. And now the wiring is done. The next part is the programming. First you'll need to go to this link to download the DS1307 real time clock library. Uh, you'll scroll down and click the link here and this will transfer you to a github page here you'll need to click clone or download and then download zip you can download the zip anywhere you want like to your desktop and then you'll have to go to this path so it's um, in your file explorer so it's C program files Arduino libraries and here you, can, you have a list of all your libraries so basically what you'll do is you'll drag your zip file into here and then you'll extract it and remove the master part in the name. So um, mine, I already did it earlier, so mine looks like this, RTC lib. And inside, you should be able to find all these things. Now that we have installed the library, we can begin to program. So uh, you can view code, the like example code, if you go to file, examples, find RTC lib, and open any of these. But uh, I'm going to basically write this, but from scratch, so that you can get a more intuitive sense of how this all works. So, first thing you want to do is um, include a library that's called wire.h. That is the I2C library, and it'll be used to basically communicate with um, the RTC. Then you need to include the library that we just downloaded, so rtclib.h, same way. Now we have to make our object, like our RTC object, so it's go, it's called RTC, and if you're using the DS1307, it's going to be DS1307, RTC, right? And then we can just put a semicolon at the end. So now in the setup, we can say serial.begin. We'll be printing all the results to the serial monitor. If you have an LCD screen or something, you can do that, but I think this is easier for this tutorial. Uh, begin the RTC and then say um, if not RTC dot begin and then um, you can print to the serial that the RTC is not working RTC not working so just uh, that you know that you can like start debugging and then what people usually do they say while one which is the same thing as saying while true so it just uh, stays here until you exit the sketch and because the RTC is not working there's no point on continuing right uh, and then we will uh, do something else we want to adjust the time of our RTC 
and uh, we want to set it to the time that's currently on your computer. So uh, this is done with the rtc.adjust line, and then you basically say use the date of my computer and the time of my computer, and that is what it does. Now we can go into the loop and actually start printing, so uh, printing the data from the RTC. So it's, uh, the objects that store, store data are called datetime for obvious reasons. So we can say datetime and we can call it now. And uh, we will set that equal to rtc.now. So we will set it equal to the current value of our RTC. Uh, now we will start printing some values to the serial monitor. So let's say we want to print the year. So the serial.println. And then we say now, because that's the variable right here that stores the RTC value. Then we can say dot year. Uh, sorry, dot year. And then we have to say comma DEC and close it. So what this does is uh, the RTC stores the value in BCD or binary coded decimal and we want to convert it to values that we can read. So decimal values, right? Um, and let's say we want to print. So let's say that's the year, right? We said, so we'll say um, serial.print. That's the year. And then we'll do, uh, let's just copy and paste this a few times. So now this will be the month, and I assume it's get month. We'll, we'll see. And then day. And same thing. Um, day. All right, so I mean, we don't want to call this every like millisecond, so we'll set a small delay here of, let's say, every second, right? So this is the first sketch, hopefully this works. So what I'm going to do right now is plug in my Arduino and um, upload the code. So uh, the first thing is you have to go to tools and make sure that the port is selected, that you've plugged it in, mine's already selected and it's an Arduino Uno. Um, then just upload. They might ask you to save the file somewhere or not. Um, there's an error somewhere. I believe it's RTC lib with a small l. Easy to fix. Upload. Okay. And now we'll be able to see some data in the serial monitor, hopefully. So it's a mess because for some reason it's set to the wrong baud rate. Go to the bottom right corner and choose 9600. And here we're printed values, right? So year 2018, month is five, date is 15. So there are some other things that we could do with this. Uh, I'll actually consult the official sketch and show you now. So since we've got the basics down, we can get the hour, we can get the minute, we can get the second, whatever you want. We can also get units, uh, Unix time, so the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970. And you can uh, make a date in the future, so you just take the date now and add another like date time object to it. Um, and another thing here, you could, instead of adjusting it to the current time, you could adjust it to another time that you want, so I could change my RTC to be in 2014. So um, those are the basics, and uh, the next section we'll talk about uh, troubleshooting. One common problem that you can encounter when programming the DS1 through 7 is that in the serial monitor, you will see this line. I couldn't find R to C, right? So this means that uh, you probably wired your DS1 through 7 incorrectly. Please refer back to the first part of my video where I explain how to wire it. All you have to do is connect VCC to five volts, uh, ground to ground, then SDA to pin A4, and then SCL to pin A5. After this, this issue should be resolved. Another issue that you'll frequently encounter when programming DS1307 is that whenever you print out the time to the serial monitor or on an LCD screen, you'll see the exact same time. So for this, I'm using just the example DS1307 code and I deleted a few serial print statements. So it's basically the same thing. If I go to my serial monitor, I think it's already open here. Um, Here's the time that's being printed right now, 1940, it's Wednesday, May 16th, right? So now if I unplug my Arduino and I plug it back in, close the serial monitor and open it again, um, 
I get the same date, but it's like 1939. So it's even earlier than the time that we had printing earlier. Um, and um, this happens because we have not uncommented the RTC data just line. What this line does is it sets the time on the RTC to the compile time of the program. And this, it happens every single time that you open your Arduino. So ideally, you only want to run this code once. And then you up, once you upload it once, you will uh, comment it out. So now if I upload, and I'll now comment it out and upload again. This is what will fix the problem. So now I'll go to the serial monitor and see it's 1942. I'm unplugging the Arduino, plugging it back in. I think I have to restart the serial monitor. And it's 1942 and it's almost 1943. So this is working. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Since this is a new channel, I would appreciate if you subscribed. I'm planning on posting many videos like this in the future. Thank you everyone for watching the video.